Kathy Tate Bradish. She was the uh, <clears throat> moderator for the League of Women Voters Candidate Forum on October 20th. You know, the one who said we were not going to say the pledge before the forum started. And to hear what the speakers have to say. I'm sorry, do I have a point of order? Are we going to say the Pledge of Allegiance? No, we are not. That's not part of the proposal tonight. Um, excuse me, excuse me. I, I have absolutely nothing for or against saying the Pledge of Allegiance at the beginning of something like this, but in fact, that has never been part of... Kathy Tate Bradish. She's also a member of Organizing for America. That's right, Obama's far-left intimidating task force. So when Joe Walsh walked into the room and received this response... She knew she was surrounded by a bunch of conservatives. It didn't take long for her to begin treating the civil audience like a bunch of children. I hope, I hope that that will be the last time that I am disrespected. There is certainly no disrespect, excuse me, there, excuse me. And I have to say that being forced by having audience members stand up in presumably a planned way to have something like that happen seems, seems a bit disrespectful. Let me, excuse me, excuse me. $900 billion, I voted against this Congress alone. Excuse me, Ms. Bean, I'm sorry, timekeepers, I want you to add on a few seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, I, I think perhaps you think you're being quiet, but we can hear you up here. Please, no side conversations. No side conversations. Sure. Um, I was proud to support cap and trade legislation. Uh, Ex excuse my... me, Ms. Bean, I'm sorry. Oh, it's... Ladies and gentlemen, please, we're here for the students. Just listen to the answers respectfully. This is evidently a wonderful auditorium. The acoustics are fantastic, and we can all hear you up here. So stop the side comments. Truth is, Kathy Tate Bradish was the only one that night being disrespectful, rude, and obnoxious. But the papers would have you believe it was the Walsh supporters. Having recorded the entire event, I was a bit surprised to hear the audience was rowdy. But remember, the media live in the leftist propaganda world where up is down, left is right, north is south, and evil is good. This is the world the media would have us buy into. Sixty-second state representative and thirty-first state senate. Our primary purpose tonight is to model the civil, the value of civil discourse, and the importance of being. Is it any wonder the papers are dying a slow death? Perhaps at some point in time, Kathy Tate Bradish will come to realize the grace and mercy she was shown as she stood on that stage, paid for by that rowdy audience. As she attached her mouth to that microphone, courtesy of that disrespectful crowd. In any case, hopefully this is the last chance she'll have to treat law-abiding, hard-working citizens with such disdain and condescension. 
feel free to contact the League of Women Voters at 2100 Ridge Avenue in Evanston, Illinois, 60201. Or call them at 847-866-7844. Or email them at lwvevanston at att.net. And let them know how you feel about this woman as a moderator of anything. While you're at it, feel free to exercise your constitutional freedom of speech.